Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob 447 back at it again with some Madden 16 gameplay. And this gameplay is well overdue. I don't know what happened with this. I was about to upload a Madden video yesterday, but then I realized, wait a minute, I don't even have the last game of the season. So here we go again. I have to record it. I don't know what happened with this. All I know is that the last time I touched this file was about five days ago. So we're going up against the Tampa Bay Buck. Buccaneers for the last game of the season going up against Jameis Wilson and we're dressed in all black baby back in black Ted getting back there to return taking it from the 12 and he's gonna get out to the 31 yard line a pretty good return so we're going full house Cam Newton's gonna hand it off to Mike Tobert Mike Tobert has green grass in front of him breaks a tackle Mike Tobert off to the races he dives into the end zone and scores we knock on the door to score them six points baby so Jameis Winston trotting onto the field hopefully he could resurrect the Tampa Bay Buccaneers after that terrible defensive stand like that was awful might you let Mike Tober do that to you? you? Let Mike Tober do that? So Jameis Winston off the play action is going to dump it all to his receiver. And that was a good block. Another good block. Luke Keekley has to chase down the receiver right there. So Jameis Winston with another uh, play action. This time it was a read. And Mike Evans goes up high and Odell's that ball. <sighs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Mike Evans don't do that. Mike Evans don't do that. Madden. Come on, Madden. Uh, Got to stop that. But that is a good open field tackle by Ben A. Ben Wickery, who makes it third and goal on the one-yard line. So, James Winston is going to hand it off. And we stop the ball carrier before he can get into the end zone. That's Rainey. I believe it's Chris Rainey. That is his name. And the kick is up, and it's good. So, we're leading 7-3. to three. That was a great defensive stop by us. So, the Buccaneers, they do have the ball back. Chris Rainey running the ball. Picks up about 7 yards on that rush right there. He's a pretty good runner. I thought I was going to see Muscle Hamster Martin in the game, but he's apparently he's not. And that's an interception for Josh Norman. Josh Norman, nobody's going to catch him. Jameis Winston, you know damn well you're not about to catch Josh Norman. And he dives into the end zone, and that makes it a 14-3 ball game. Tampa Bay's got to pick it up, man. Jameis Winston's got to pick it up. So with two minutes left in the first quarter, Tampa Bay Buccaneers on the 20-yard line. Jameis Winston's going to complete a pass for almost a first down. So second in inches. He's going to hand it off to Chris Rainey. But we get to Rainey in the backfield, which will make it third and three. So the Buccaneers elect to go five wide on third down. And they complete the pass and get the first down. Second and 15 for the Tampa Bay Bucks. 11 seconds left. Jameis was just going to throw it up there. His receivers got it. That's Mike Williams. And Mike Williams goes all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Was that really? Was that Mike Williams? I don't believe that was Mike Williams. I messed up his name, y'all. I think I might have. So we get the ball back with about 849 left to go. We're going triple option. And Cam picks up about seven yards right there. So third and four on the 37-yard line. Cam dropping back. He's going to find his man, Greg Olsen. Greg Olsen. Nobody's going to catch Greg Olsen. This has been a game of big plays, man. This has been a game of big plays. I mean, if you're watching this game, you're probably, whoa, whoa. All these big plays going on, man. It's unbelievable. So first and 20 for the Bucks. Yes, they did have a penalty. And Jameis Winston completes the pass as a 10-yard Reception. So second down and ten for the Bucks, handing it off to Chris Rainey, and he fumbles the ball, but he picks it right back up. Good job. That is head. That's a heads-up play. So Jameis Winston rolling. Al's gonna throw it. That's gonna be incomplete. Peanut Tillman on the defense right there. So the Buccaneers yet again will have to settle for a field goal with 6:14 left in the second quarter. That one is up, and it is well good. So, we're up by eight points. That's still a one-possession game. So, we're going to try to increase this lead. So, handing it off to Jay Stu. He picks up about four yards right there. Jay Stu, that's his first rush of the ball game. Can you believe it, y'all? His first rush of the ball game. Cam Newton throwing off his back foot. Completes it to Greg Olsen for the first down. So, 
Second down and eight for the Carolina Panthers on the 44-yard line. Cam Newton's going to dump it up to Jay Stu for the screen. Jay Stu's going to pick up the first down. He didn't even go down. That's how strong he is. So off the 46, first down and 10 for the Panthers. Yet again, Craig Olsen plunging forward. He does not get the first down. So it's going to be 31. Hitting it off to Jay Stu on the misdirection. Picks up another first down so this drive definitely doesn't have that big play value that all the other drives had but it's still a good drive and Kelvin Benjamin makes a nice catch right there so Cam Newton dropping back Cam Newton's gonna throw it to Kelvin one more time and he brings it down so we're gonna be in the red zone on the four yard line second and goal for the Carolina Panthers a minute and 25 left to go Cam Newton's going to pass it to Greg Olson, who gets his second touchdown of the day. But, oh, no. Greg is injured, guys. Greg is injured. I believe he either had a one-week injury, either out of the game, or y'all see it. You guys will see it, but you guys see it right there. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers score a touchdown. That's Vincent Jackson, who scores right there. Makes it a one-possession game yet again. So, with 53 seconds left to go, Cam Newton throws a pick. Cam, no, no, Cam, no. So the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are in the driver's seat. They could at least tie this game up or make it a one-point game. So with 40 seconds left, Jameis Winston is in shotgun. Third and two. He's going to complete the pass to his man, Vincent Jackson. And Tampa Bay Buccaneers, one timeout left. 33 seconds, he's going to complete the pass, and oh, I believe that might be Mike Williams, I I don't know, I just don't know, so second down and three for the Buccaneers, Jameis Winston almost gets a touchdown pass right there, almost, almost so close, but close is not good enough, so first and goal for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers from the one, Jameis Winston's going to throw, and he finds his man in the end zone for the touchdown so with six seconds left cam's just gonna throw this one and that one's gonna be intercepted as well the tip drill oh my gosh but that will end the half we're going to have time leading 28 to 27 we could have been up big but we've had mistakes also just like the buccaneers have had this game so we just gotta we gotta find our niche and you guys see Jameis Winston has been killing us. Killing us through the air. This is not Carolina Panthers uh, secondary. This is not. So we go into the third quarter. It is second and 17 for the Buccaneers. Play action. And that's going to be an interception straight to Kurt Coleman. Kurt Coleman gets the interception. I believe that's the seventh interception of the year, which is absolutely amazing. So Cam Newton dropping back. Going to fire it to Kelvin Benjamin, who dies for that one. So third and inches from the 42. A little misdirection is going to still pick up the first down for the Panthers. So four minutes left from the 40. Cam Newton dropping back, finds Kelvin Benjamin over the middle. Yet again. So second down and 10. Handing it off to Jay Stu. Jay Stu breaks a tackle. And he picks up the first down. But Jay Stu also gets injured. And Greg Olson is also back in the game. I guess it was just like a little minor injury. But Cam Newton almost gets sacked. Almost. So we're going to have to settle for a field goal. There's not a lot of wind here in Bank of America Stadium. So Graham Gamo, it is good. Okay, that makes it a one possession game. So we get the ball back in the fourth quarter. And that is a completed pass to Greg Olsen, who is back from that injury that he suffered in the second quarter. So first down and 10 for the Panthers. Hand it off to Ray Rice. Ray Rice picks up about 12 yards on that rush. That's what we need from him, man. So Cam Newton dropping back. Finds Greg Olsen yet again on that out route. And Greg Olsen gets a huge gain. He has been... Craig, look at look at the numbers. Six receptions for 156 yards. That's a redeemer from last week. Good God. So third and six. We went full house. You guys saw Cam Newton just gonna run. Cam Newton almost gets into the end zone. So first and goal. Ray Rice plunges into the end zone to make it a 41 to 27 lead. So we're up big. We're up by uh, 14 points. Yeah, 14 points. But oh no, not another big play by the Buccaneers. I thought that was going to be a touchdown. And that's Mike Williams. Jesus Christ, that's Mike Williams. I, ah, whew, 
Jeez, man, I keep getting them wrong. So the Buccaneers need to score quick and fast, and they do score, making it a one possession game. So they gotta get the onside kick. If they don't get it, then they don't have a chance to win the game. And we get it. Kelvin Benjamin gets it. And all we gotta do is just kneel the ball. But I don't do that. You guys know I don't do that. So Cam Newton rolling out. Cam Newton is gonna pick up the first throw on his feet. He's gonna get out of bounds. He's. He, we do not need him getting injured before the playoffs start, okay? And that's going to do it, folks. We do end this game on a high note. 41 to 34 is your score. A high-scoring game, a very exciting game, an absolute amazing game. This game was the game, the game game. It was the game game, okay? You see Cam dapping it up with Dalton. We did pretty, we did really good. I mean, for almost every quarter, we scored double digits, which is really nice. Twice as nice as ice. And you guys see, when it comes to passing yards on the defense, we did pretty bad. I mean, second half, we did better, but <laughs> still bad, y'all. But rushing yards, we kept them at bay. That's what we always do. Look, Cam Newton, 12 for 22. And Sai, Sai, Ray Rice, 12 uh, 12 attempts for 51 yards. That's because Jay Stu had that injury, but he will be back. Don't worry, guys. And Lou Keekly led the way with seven tackles. No, actually, it was Trey Boston who led the way with seven tackles. And you guys see Kirk Coleman had that intel, intel. But anyway, remember, guys, go down in the polls and remember to vote. It's been another J Rob video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and peace.